What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this digital warp transition inside of After Effects. So this is what the transition looks like. If I play this right here, you can see you get that cool digital effect with this warping effect going into our other clip like that. So it's a super simple and easy uh, transition and it doesn't require any plugins. So you can use all the effects that are built into After Effects for this transition. So the first thing we want to do is go up to our layer and create new adjustment layer. And this should bring up an adjustment layer above our two transitions or our two clips actually right here. And we're going to have a transition between these two right here. I'm just going to trim this down because I don't need it to be filling my whole composition. So control shift D will make this adjustment layer shorter. And we're just going to copy it one more time. So control C, control V, and you get two of those. And on our bottom adjustment layer, I'm going to go up here and search up glitch and Bring this one up, the VR digital glitch. This one is just built into After Effects. So bring that over and it just has this like digital glitch effect. A clip right here. So I want to animate this glitch effect right here. So I'm going to go 20 frames forward. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so starting right here, I'm going to go to our master amplitude right here and bring that to zero. Keyframe that. Hit the stopwatch right here. Go to the cut in our clips. Bring that back up to 100. And then go 20 forward again. All right. Bring that back down to zero. Go into your keyframes right here. And then F9 to easy ease them on your keyboard. Bring up this graph editor. And then just kind of make this graph look like that. So now you have the digital glitch animated. So we just need to add one more effect to this layer right here, and then we can add our finishing uh, effect on this top one. In the same adjustment layer, we're just going to go up here and search up TV. And there should be a few different ones. I like to use the bad TV old. Bring that on there. And then it gets this like glitchy kind of warped edges and everything, which looks super cool. So when I play that back, it's a uh, just applied to our whole clip. So once again, we need to animate it. So it starts at zero. So hit T on your keyboard on this adjustment layer and it brings up your opacity. Bring that to zero. Keyframe that. Go to the edge or the clip right here and bring that back up to 100. Go back over to, I don't know, around 20 frames again and bring it to zero. So there we go. We have that little glitch effect. Now we just need the warping to happen. It's warping a little bit, but I want to kind of like over exaggerate it. So on this top adjustment layer, I'm going to search up displace. Yeah, displacement map right here. You should have that installed on your After Effects. And I'm just going to bring this to zero. And then edge behavior, do warp pixels. So that's just going to uh, generate pixels so you don't get like black edges on your frame. And at the start of this, hit the keyframe up here for your horizontal displacement. Go to your clip where you want it to transition at and bring that all the way up to 200. So now you can see you get this cool like warping. I don't know. It's kind of like uh, data moshing a little bit, but it's, it's totally different, but it kind of gives it that effect. Kind of cool. And then you can go all the way back to your other keyframe for your other layer. And I'm just going to match that. So bring that to zero. So now if you see the keyframes, they're uh, right here and we can just F9 them again, easy ease. And then just mess with the graph, make it look something like what we did before. Now, if we play it back, we get this super cool distort effect on our clip. Now I feel like it's going a little bit too fast. So I'm just going to bring this keyframe right here and just drag it out. So it kind of just lets the effect last a little bit longer. And that looks a lot smoother. That's super clean. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a super simple and easy one because it didn't require any plugins. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Make sure to leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions or are stuck on anything while you're working on this. And I'll try to help you guys out. Subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.